Hi guys, Latecom here, and we are back with yet another episode of the Road to 100 Million Flux Farming series on the channel. And as you can see, it is going to be none other than Gathering Day today, as well as a brand new event in which we are going to capitalize on these two aspects of today's buffs and try our best to farm the remaining amount of flux that we will need to reach 100 million flux. And safe to say, this might be the last episode of the series entirely, as we're currently sitting at 77 million flux, which means only another 23 million will have to be farmed in order for us to reach the esteemed 100 million goal. So with that being said, let's head on over into the marketplace. And as you can see, we did manage to sell quite a number of items. We did manage to sell some Jodian building notes. So let's just go on ahead and relist all of these, which will put us well above 80 million flux right now, which only leaves us with another 18.5 million flux to farm today. And taking a look at the right hand corner of your screen right now, it shows that I will be able to obtain a free one day patron pass. And the way that I managed to unlock this, if you didn't already know is you have to complete the quest line that requires you to meet Cubesley in the hub. If you see a quest that asks you to talk to Cubesley in the hub, try your best to finish up that quest line and you will see this decide your own adventure quest pop up. So with that being said, let's head on over into one of these guys right here. As we can see, it will ask us to press E and there we go. We did just get a one day patron and it did end up getting used immediately. So let's just start off by completing this quest line in the right hand corner of my screen right here, talking to Sir Dapper Duckington Esquire, and I will get back to you guys relatively soon. As you can see, we did just straight up get a B buddy ally right off the bat, in which will cost around 500,000 flux, which is absolutely insane. Let's just go on ahead and list this for 550,000 and that goes to show how lucky we've been so far in the episode. Just our first kill and we ended up getting a free ally. So let's just go on ahead and continue to kill more of these guys and hopefully we will be able to get a couple of mounts and whatnot. So honestly, it's been around like 20 to 25 minutes and as you can see, I've only gotten little wasp spiders and these are untradeable. And the only thing that I ended up getting was the B buddy that I got at the start. So I guess it's best to say that this is not going to be a good farming method for us to utilize today. Because honestly, I don't really like relying on RNG because, you know, sometimes you're going to get stuff and sometimes you're just going to waste hours upon hours when you can guarantee the flux by using other farming methods. So with that being said, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to abandon this farming method and we're going to head on over into the delves for more geode ore farming. So I guess this is going to mean that we're going to go back to where we started in the first episode and continue on farming more delves for geode cave ores and other materials. So I will get back to you guys in a while, but I guess we're going to make use of this method and at some point once I'm bored farming, honestly, I'll just head on over into some Uber 10 ships and hopefully make enough flux to make it to 100 million. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half, I think, around there, and I found quite a number of these builders' chests, as well as quite a number of ores, as you can see right here, a lot of mightstone, a lot of everlite, not too much of the ancient gears, but a lot of builders' blossoms, as well as some quirk stone as well. So we're just going to open all of these and list all of them inside the market. As you will see, we are going to get a ton of Builderite from opening these Builder's chests and a ton of Ancient Gears from opening these Builder's vaults. Thankfully, with the Patron Pass, we do manage to get a little bit more of these vaults which will allow us to actually list more of these items in the market. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to play the waiting game. As you can see, I've used up all my marketplace slots. I can buy a couple more, but I guess we will have to buy them later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hope that people are going to buy more of these Jodian building notes so that it will make us easier to reach 100 mil. As you can see, we did just sell our builder right right there, which will free up a slot for us in which we will now list our workstone and just hope that we're going to be able to cycle through all of this as quickly as possible. And in the meantime, I guess I will stop farming these geode ores and probably AFK in some Uber 10 ships 
Okay, I just woke up and as you can see, we did manage to sell most of our items and I did try to sell everything that I had. As you can see, we are kind of running out on all of these materials right here. I did sell all of the sticky ichor, all of these stuff like the steed feed, ashen spoiling and everything that has value and I did get some uh, wings of the Dark Pegasus as well. So as you can see, we are sitting at around 90 million flux. And we didn't actually end up managing to sell our last piece of Jodian building notes because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have caught wind of it in the previous episode in which we talked about how profitable these were. So I guess we're probably going to lay off of these for now. As you can see, there are going to be a ton of people that are actually listing theirs for like 50 per stack and whatnot. So it's just falling all the way down. So I'm not going to meddle with this uh, market anymore and we're just going to leave it at that. But I would prefer to see a little bit of flux from this though. So I'm going to list this at 7,500 flux just so that we can get closer to the 100 million flux goal that we have. So let's just go on ahead and open this Primal Paragon cube and hopefully be able to craft some good ring boxes. I've got three Primal Loops in total. So let's just go on ahead and craft three of these boxes and not gamble because I don't actually have enough to be honest. And we did get a gilded signatory box from that Crystal One craft which is epic because we can get another 1.5 to 1.6 million. So I'm just going to go on ahead and list this for 1.6 million and hope they actually sell out in the end. Okay, back again in this shadowy market as we will be able to craft 32 of these Titan's treasures. Opening each and every one of these up will let us get to 90.8 million flux, which leads us to around 9.2 million flux left. So I guess we're going to continue on farming Uber 10 ships and try our best to get to 100 million flux. And hopefully we do get as good as an RNG as we did earlier to make our farm as quick as possible. So I'll get back to you guys in a second. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours of AFKing in Uber 10 ships. And as you can see right here, I did manage to sell a ton of items in the marketplace. And I did manage to sell a couple of nitroglycerine as well. So let's go on ahead and claim all of these listings and see how close we are to actually hitting 100 million flux. 96.9 million, 97 million flux with these Celestial Diamonds selling in the market as well, as well as some Primal Paragon Pinatas that we did manage to get from leveling up our Prime level. So let's just go on ahead and list this at 84250 and that will amount to another 1 million flux or so. Let's just hope this sells relatively quick. And besides that, we also have got a couple more signatory boxes that we can craft. And there we go. So we're about 2.6, 2.5 million flux shy. There's going to be 1 million, there's going to be 2 million. So we're about a few hundred thousand flux away from actually getting to 100 mil. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to list every single item that I can in the marketplace that is worth something. As you can see, that's going to be 80,000 flux. Now, these Radiant Shards are not going to sell too high, so I'm just going to leave that for now. Fairy Dust will be worth quite a lot, so we're going to list this as well. So that's going to be 100k that we'll earn from these two listings. Other than that, we have got some Diamonds, but it's not really worth too much. Nitro Glitterine will be worth around 225 Flux. So that's going to be another 40,000 Flux right there. It's going to be listing every single thing that we can see right here. Just going to go 1, 3, 2, 5 for this. Okay, I think I might have to farm a little bit more to get the last bit of flux. As you can see, we did manage to sell our robotic salvage right there. We're going to sell some of these acrobat bucks as well. So I guess since Celestial Diamonds are going to be around 7,000 flux, safe to say we're just going to list whatever remaining stuff we have at 6,500 in hopes that we will manage to sell these as quickly as possible. And I believe if we manage to sell our whole inventory right now, we can actually get to 100 million flux total. So I will get back to you guys in a couple of minutes to the next hour and hopefully every single item will sell. And then we can finally, finally, finally conclude this series. Okay, I'm um, checking in an hour after we've listed all of the items. Let's hope we did manage to end up selling everything and that will allow us to reach 100 mil. So as you can see, we managed to sell almost everything except for the Celestial Diamond and the Wild Cupcake, which is absolutely amazing. 
But the question is, will we actually be able to make it to 100 million flux? Let's take a look as we claim each and every single one of these listings right here we will be able to see how close we will get to our goal of 100 million flux. So that's going to be 98920, that's going to be 99220, 99535, and 99835. We are exactly 164,000 and around 948 flux left from actually reaching our goal. So you know what? Instead of just waiting long enough, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lowball the price of the Celestial Diamonds that we have right here. As you can see, we need another 160k. So if we add 10% to that, I think it should be around 180k to play it safe. I accidentally typed in the wrong place. But if we set it at 180k, I am 100% sure that it will sell within the next 5 minutes based on how cheap these Celestial Diamonds are. And to further advertise this, now we're just going to have to type in trade chat what to sell Celestial Diamonds 4,285 4, flux each in market cheap. So we're just going to type in that. Let's just pray that someone ends up buying it so that we can actually hit 100 million flux. Now we're 120k away from literally getting to the goal. And there we go! We managed to sell our Celestial Diamonds. Epic! There we have it. 100 million flux, 33,226 flux, my dudes. We have achieved our ultimate goal. Finally, after 8 days of farming on an alternate account, we have achieved 100 million flux. But before that, let's just type our slash plate and we are sitting at 19 days, 17 hours and 35 minutes, which puts us at around 3 to 3.5 three days of farming. So with that being said, that marks the end of the road to 100 million flux farming series. And as promised, I'm going to be giving away each and every single one of these flux that I have farmed in the game. I'm not really too sure what this is going to be about, but... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, wait. Wait, what? For me? Okay, um... This is an unexpected turn of events, but... Yes, we ended up getting... Uh, a free amount of flux. So once again, thanks so much, Doc, for the amount of Celestial Diamonds and the 300,000 flux that you've given us. This will go to a worthy cause of someone that will need it at the end of the day on our Trove stream. With all of that being said, my last ever Trove stream will be on the 6th of May at 2pm GMT slash UTC time. So I guess with all of that being said, this marks the end of one of the greatest eras of the Trove free-to-play YouTuber Latecom. And we will move on into the future and create different content, maybe in real life stuff, not really too much on gaming, but we'll see. I will try my best to continue on posting without Trove. I really want to move on from the game. I don't really want to linger and, you know, tarnish or sully my legacy as of right now. But this will mark the end of the Latecom era. And I guess I will see you guys on the live stream. Make sure to tune in. And as usual, peace out.